China, but before I do, I just wanted to follow up on something you said earlier. When you said it remains to be seen whether the Ukraine government is prepared to compromise with Russia. Previously, you've told us the only thing for the Russians to do is get completely out of Ukraine, go back to the, the lines that existed prior to February 24. Are you suggesting with the word compromise that you think room for territorial compromise now? That no, I'm not, sir. That's up to the Ukrainians. Nothing about Ukraine without Ukraine. So what kind of compromise do you have in mind? I didn't have any in mind. Uh, you have asked the question whether or not, if I recall, whether or not what would happen if, in fact, after the, this, I, I think the context is that whether or not they're pulling back from Fallujah. And the, I mean, from the, the Kyrgyzstan, the, the city of Kyrgyzstan, and they're coming back across the river to the eastern side of the river, the Russian forces. And I said, what's going to happen is they're going to all both lick their wounds, decide whether, what they're going to do over the winter and decide whether or not they're going to compromise. That's, that's what's going to happen, whether or not. I don't know what they're going to do. And, but I do know one thing, we're not going to tell them what they have to do. Meeting with President Xi. Um, at this point, the Chinese government, by the estimate of the Pentagon, is getting ready to um, bring their force of nuclear weapons up to over a thousand weapons, significant uh, increase from what they've had for many decades. Um, you've seen the threats from uh, President Putin about the use of his nuclear weapons. Remember forces. how you all went after me when I said that was real? And, and what, what, in your view, happened? Do you think he, he backed off because of that? No, no, I'm saying? just saying. I just, I just find it interesting that uh, Biden's being a popular, a, 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 a cop, a Biden's being an extremist. Um, and, uh, and it turns out you all are writing about it now. Kind of fascinating. My question is, do you think that they are coming together in real alliance with Chinese and the Russians? And do you believe that uh, you need to begin speaking with President Xi about some form of arms control if he's going to get up to a level of weapons similar to what the United States and Russia have right now? No and yes. No, I don't think there's a lot of respect that China has for Russia or for Putin. I don't think they're looking at that as a particular alliance. Uh, matter of fact, uh, they've been sort of keeping the distance a little bit. I do think that uh, it may remains to be seen whether Xi Jinping has decided that or backed off of his initial judgment that he wanted Ukraine, uh, excuse me, China to have the most powerful military in the world as well as uh, the largest economy. And, uh, but he's a long way from both. Um, but I think, it, I think talk about nuclear weapons and location, the number of them and access is important to discuss. Thank you all so very, very much. Thank you very, very much. We'll do another, we'll, we'll do another hour a little later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do more of these in the future. We got the seven borders. All right, President Biden.